Hi, this is William. Welcome to Flyspoke. Today I'm going to uh, tie for you an extremely fast fly. And it is probably one of the most deadly flies I use. There won't be a day this winter or spring um, or next fall for that matter that I will not uh, have this fly used in a day. And uh, there's two ways that I tie it. The first way the, very f the first way I tie it is I'll take a marabou feather and I'll tie a tail on the back just like you would if you were tying a woolly bugger. And the second way that I tie it is I will take a uh, bunny strip and basically lay a bunny strip onto the back as a tail. Now lately I'm doing the bunny strip a lot more than the marabou. Even though the marabou has worked really well, I'm finding that the attraction of the wiggle in the bunny strip is pretty dramatic to the fish. Now this fly can be done in black. Um, I, I tie it pretty much just in black and in olive but um, I'm told people do it in white and all sorts of colors and uh, it's a great landlocked salmon fly in the olive and it also works on steelhead and rainbow trout pretty well so I've tied the bunny strip in make sure it's flat on the hook facing down The bead choice, you know, you can you can have a brass bead like this one is. You can choose you can choose to put on a black bead or copper is a bead color that I'm pretty partial to as well. Okay, the next the next thing to do is I'm going to take a marabou feather in the olive, and I'm just going to grab grab it by the tips all the way down and I'm going to just tie that in so it's facing the back the bunny strip and tie to the front Put another run over the top of the bunny strip, over the top of that marabou rather. Now you have an option right now. You can leave that on the back, you can remove it. Now just take the feather, hold it straight up in the air, and spin it. Pull out the longer fibers, the uh, longer barbules that are protruding out and we're just going to go around the hook turn next to turn just keep spinning it spinning it counterclockwise as I go right to the front tight tie in Here's coming up is the most important thing that you can do with this fly. I'll trim that off there. Okay, what you have to do is you have to take your thread and just rock it back and forth and go back to the back and secure down. The marabou. If you don't do that, what you're going to find is you're going to have a bunch of marabou with the back end of the hook just balled up. I've learned the hard way. Okay. So, like I say, you can leave this on if you like, if you like it a little bushy, um, or you can just go in and you can trim it off before you even get moving on it or just take some of it off 
and just leave it just like that with your tail out the back and uh, you will not find a deadlier fly constantly being used you're really gonna love this one do it without the bead do it with the bead change the bead color change the marabou color change the tail color um, but the simplicity of the fly and just how quickly uh, it's put together um, is, is really worth a try so good luck with it marabou leech there it is